Well, here we are. It's finally happening. The new Brexit bill to override the Northern Ireland Protocol has officially been backed by the House of Commons last night in its second reading, which means it's just going to go to a technical committee stage and then the House of Lords. I know everyone's scared of the House of Lords, usually there were the obstacles, but in this case, they can't really reject the, the bill because they're the majority in the Commons. There's no deadlock. The, the Commons will completely support it. Anyway, we'll have to wait for the... Uh, the final stage and then the Royal Ascent to com be completed. But it's good news. It's one of the rare things that's going well for us. Uh, one of the few situations that this government is actually getting right, thanks to Liz Truss. Liz Truss said that tonight, this is last night, the House of Commons has backed the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill. It provides practical solutions to problems caused by the protocol and protects the Belfast Agreement. While the negotiated outcome remains our preference, the EU must accept changes to the protocol itself. The Northern Ireland Protocol is undermining the functioning of the agreement and of power sharing. It has created fractures between East and West. It has diverted trade and meant people in Northern Ireland are being treated differently from people in Great Britain. Now, this has been one of those things that um, the government kept coming out over the last, how long has it been now? Over a year. Every few weeks, every couple of months coming out to say that they kept repeating the same line, saying we have to do something about this. We will override protocol. And they kept making empty promises and we had to wait. And nothing got done. <laughs> and officially they were forced, thanks to the EU and their refusal to budge, they were forced to actually do something about this. Otherwise, they would do the usual classic Tory government thing. They kept making up the promises. But there are some people like Liz Truss who just want to get things done to make sure that it gives her a platform at some point to run for Tory leadership, obviously. Uh, but it, it doesn't matter because right now the backlash is coming from not just the normal Ramonas. Um, you have the, the actual Eurocrats, the European Union, having a meltdown. We are going to come back in, in the follow-up video after this in half an hour and then going forward throughout the day giving you the updates from the other side because Theresa May has officially joined the EU Ramona side and it's quite interesting to see the mask is finally slipping and the true face of these uh, so-called conservatives actually showing. So we're going to come back in half an hour with more updates. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.